What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to another Mod Times, of course, with your boy, John. And today, guys, we have something very different for you. It is a placeable grain bin, 250,000 liters of storage uh, wheat, barley, canola. Wow, I need to learn the crop symbols. Sunflower. You know what I'm trying to say. All the base crop in-game. And it also comes with, and I just butchered that, but you know what? Whatever. It also comes with a big auger that will move uh, everything. And it comes with a small auger that will also move everything. So, now let's take a look at it. That You've already seen it, but you know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool. So, you've got your main uh, fill auger, basically. Basically, your main fill auger that goes up to your bin. And then you've got the little guy over here. Now, this one was a little tricky to get it to work um, at times on the camera angle. A uh, little tricky to get this one to work. But basically what you just have to do is kind of... You kind of just like... No, are we not going to work now? I didn't make sure that it was set up perfectly before I, before I started. And that's probably a mistake on my part. Oh, you know what? It already has green in it. That's what it is. Okay. So camera angle kind of sucks when you... Get, get, get me out of here. Get me. Get me out of here. There we go. So there's already green in that auger. That's what's going on there, I think. Uh, but it, it's it's a pretty cool system. Uh, of course, that, you know, the hopper folds up and the auger comes down and looks very American. I like the look of it, honestly, boys. I like the look of it. So let's show you how it works. And like I said, it will be a little finicky at times. But we got it to work nonetheless. So we just happen to have a tipper sitting here full of grain. And uh, of course we totally missed where we want to go. I knew that was going to happen when, when I was setting this up. I'm like, I'm not going to be able to back this up first try while recording. So I backed it up like multiple times before I recorded it and I totally nailed it. But... You know, while recording, of course, I knew I wasn't going to get it. So now we are filling the green bin, as you guys might be able to hear. You can see the, the hopper has green in it. See, it's kind of freaking out, but that's okay. So we are filling the green bin. The one thing I don't like about the green bin, guys, is you can't actually tell how much green is in it when it is just sitting here. That is a downfall of the green bin to me, honestly. So that you cannot tell how much is in it. Okay, let's get this little guy situated here. We got our wheels all messed up now. Okay. Get our wheels down. This one's a little finicky to like drive around and stuff, I'll be honest. You can tow this behind a truck as well. Or whatever. That's how I That's how I got it up here. So okay. wheels this way. So the problem we're running into is that there's green in the actual... Oh, goodness. Hang on, guys. we got to go for a tab bot. I've got crap everywhere on this map, for the record. Just so everybody's aware, your boy John has a messy map right now. All right, but I swear this works. I swear it works. I have gotten this to work. Okay, so this should just automatically... Okay. We want to go back that... Auger holds 2,000 liters, apparently. So that's a thing, right? All right, I want to show you guys that it will actually hit the trigger and everything here in just a second. All right. You can dump with the whole back of the trailer open, by the way. It just looks a lot more legitimate if you have just the little door open in the trailer, of course. But, uh, hey, that's okay. I swear it's not my first stage of playing farm sim. It's my second. Okay, so what you actually would do is you get out and you get into the auger. And then, yeah, okay. So you can see it It says to hit R. So now you can see how much is in the bin. And just like normal, it, you know, it holds all your crop. And, and now you would hit start. And boom, you're loading your truck now. So you kind of have to get out every time. If you want to refill your truck, you know. One thing I don't like about it, when you get out of that auger, it puts you inside that bin. And I, don't, I don't care for that either. But for the most part, this is actually pretty cool. You can put this next to your field. 
maybe you're harvesting really far from your homestead in like a 4x map something like that or you don't have enough storage in in your homestead you know wouldn't be bad and you can line up a bunch of these and just go from bin to bin to bin uh, so let's show you the auger when you download this stuff it does come as one download but you have to uh, open the zip up there's three zips inside of it that you will need to put in the game I believe we need to adjust something here too don't we no why is that not I swear you had to adjust that thing too my name is John and I don't mess with things very often how do I do this? Is there a way to make that go up? Oh, there we go. It's it's. You use your mouse to adjust the the hopper at the end. Actually, can we roll it out? Is that a thing? Pull it out. That's that's good enough. So yeah, you use your mouse to do all the movements uh, of the actual auger and hopper. So, except for unfold, that's the only one you use keyboard for. That would be X to swing it out. And then you drop it down manually with the keyboard. So, pretty cool uh, whole system. I felt like a real farmer when I was, like, backing this up to the actual bin itself. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like this. I, I, yeah, I don't think you have to have a tractor on it at all times. But let's be real. I would keep a tractor on it just to be a little bit more... Um, legitimate, you know, just to be a little bit more legit. It'd be cool if that uh, lid opened up on the bin as well, but it does not. So you just kind of put it like right there, and away you would go. You bring this out, and you drop it down. And the cool thing is, you know, you can adjust it. So maybe you're on, maybe you're on uh, uneven ground, so you can adjust the whole thing. You got all the movements there. There you go. So pretty cool mods uh, that come together for this uh, this this download here, guys. I enjoy it quite a bit. I, I honestly will probably start using it somewhere. I think it's really cool. And uh, the speeds aren't terrible. Loading, unloading, that kind of stuff. Um, the speeds are not too bad. You can see this truck's already full. So it's just not it's not terrible. It's really not bad, and actually. Let's back up to this one. I just hit the button, U on the keyboard, I believe, to change it so it dumps out the back of the trailer. The whole gate will open instead of just the little door. So let's give that a try. You guys can see how much faster it actually is. So it's just like dumping into a regular... Let's see. Do I have to hit a button? I think I have to hit a button on this. There you go. You have to hit O. You get a pipe out technically or whatever. Okay, so now you can see, which is like dumping into a normal, normal thing. Maybe a little bit slower, but it looks so legitimate that it just, I can't stand it. How legit it looks. All right, I'm done. You guys get it, right? <laughs> if you guys have a mod you'd like me to take a look at, make sure you drop me an email, poopaplatgmail.com with a link to the mod. Um, if you guys are interested in this, the link for this mod, of course, will be in the description down below. And um, thank you guys for watching. I'm your boy, John, for Poo Plow. Until next time, make sure you hit that like button for more. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, toodles.